I know that they have been in the forefront of many of the, of the actual courageous attacks on the Mullah regime and its troops. We can't forget that type of courage. That no one who's struggling there, who's afraid, whether it's in Camp Ashwa or whether it's in uh, Iran itself, let's make sure none of those people who are struggling for freedom think they're alone, because they're not alone. We are with them. All of us are with them, the American people with them, and this is a fight together, unified between people of the world who believe in democracy. That is our unity. Thank you very much. I want to send you the message that uh, we are aware of the, of the struggle in Iran for freedom and democracy, and you are not alone. There are people all over the world, one right here in this congressional office. We're standing in solidarity with you today. The peace of the world is at stake as well as the freedom of the people of Iran. We will not have a peaceful world as long as the Mullah regime controls that country with an iron fist, stamping out those individuals who would create a better world and a more peaceful region. No, what we need to do today is to stand together, both Muslims and Christians, and others who believe that the people of Iran should not be standing in the middle of Iran, whether you are in Camp Ashraf or you are in Iran on the streets protesting, we are with you. The people in Iran who are longing for the Mullahs to go back to the mosque and for a time when people can live in freedom and people will not have to live in fear of some radical Islamic uh, uh, mullah coming down and, and destroying their lives. So with that said, let's stand in solidarity together. Let's make sure that uh, uh, those of us in the West who can stand with, uh, with Iranians, whether inside Iran or at Camp Ashraf. So I want to, uh, anyone who's listening uh, in Iran, this, I have this message. We are not with your oppressors. We are with you, and you can count on the people of the United States not to leave you in the lurch, not to leave you behind. Our destinies are tied together. Those of us who are active here in the United States understand that, and we will be with you all the way until freedom and democracy is restored to the people of the world. Those who have died, whether it's in Camp Ashraf, or other people who have died in the streets, struggling for freedom uh, in Iran. These are our brothers and sisters. These are people who are on our side, the side of the good people of this world, who think that radical Islam is represented by the Muslim uh, mullahs and, and that, that dictatorship in Iran, that this is something that should concern all of us, no matter what our faith and where we live. So today, as we commemorate this uh, anniversary, we remember those who gave their lives already. And uh, we have some pictures of people here, martyrs, for the cause of not just the cause of freedom for the people of Iran, but martyrs in the cause of human liberty. So uh, I, I'm very proud to join this. There's a, a, there's a relationship between that and our commitment to human freedom and our alliance with those good and decent people around the world who are struggling for freedom.